hi cake friend and welcome to the home bakers hive youtube channel a place where bakers get together to learn how to run a profitable baking business like comment and subscribe and let's grow together if you've not already done so please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel like and leave some useful comments in the section below um, that will really help us to grow this channel and bring more content to you things that are you know geared towards helping you grow your baking business today i want to talk to you guys about how i started my baking business and why i started my baking business so I'm going to be super raw and authentic today. I'm going to, you know, you know like go right in and um, share in everything um, with respect to how I started my business without holding a thing back. <clears throat> okay, so I remember lying in bed one day and that was a day when we had lost our beautiful daughter. Um, we had a, um, a stillborn baby. Um, she was full term and she was our only baby girl. And um, it was in um, around the third, no, it was the 4th of November, 2016. And that is when after, you know, um, after we've lost her on that day, that same week, um, you know, I remember just lying in bed thinking about what it is that God wanted to do with my life. I was thinking about what I could do with my life, how I'm going to restructure my life after this loss and, you know, how I'm going to pick myself up again. And um, even while she was in my tummy, I've always been pondering on what type of business I wanted to do. I've been asking the Lord, please, God, give me a business idea. I would love to start something. I would love to start a business, but I don't know what to do. Um, so due to the nature of like what I've always been doing, like I've been in a LED local economic development space where I've been helping small, medium and micro enterprises grow and scale their businesses. Um, I've been in a space where um, I'm coaching and training small, medium business enterprises. I thought that like God would give me a consultancy firm, business idea, or something really fancy where I have to immediately get registered, get legal and do all these kinds of things. But to my surprise, um, God just laid a very um, small, basic business idea in my head, in my mind. And that business idea looked something like a cake business. And I was like, Lord, like, why do you want me to start a cake business? Can't you like give me a business idea regarding like something where I can do consulting and so forth? And I was like, no, just a basic, like do a cake business from home. And I was like, like, there were so many ideas that I could pursue. There were so many things that I could do. But then from all these things that I could do, like I was like, this is not like in relation to my faith. Like this is not something that I would want to do. Um, there were just some things that were not really my type of jam. And um, this cake business idea landed at the moment for me. And then I was like, definitely, this is something I can try out. This is definitely something that I can do. And so I decided to like really go all in. I started to research on all the supplies that I could buy for my cake business. I started watching YouTube videos regarding what type of um, cake techniques are trending. Um, I started, uh, you know, printing out recipes. I created a recipe book, um, you know, and I just started getting things together while I didn't have any idea about anything that's going on around me. Like I didn't have any clue. I didn't have any guidance. I didn't have any support as to how I could, you know, maneuver and get around. And then I found an interesting free course online that was teaching me how to start my cake business. And that was like the first tool that I actually used, um, you know, to, to like, you know, just, um, you know, streamline myself. And I think it was something called the Baking Business School uh, from Rotini Cake Lady. I don't know if you know her. And that is how I started my business. Like I was reading her emails every day and all that. So when I went deep into this thing, I went in like three years, just baking, decorating and all that. I didn't really go through any formal training. So I, I would say that I'm a self-taught baker. And um, as I went, you know, I learned a couple of things. Like I learned that I was really reaching the success path quite fast. I always talk to you guys about the five stage uh, success path, total newbie, um, starter, intermediate, advanced and pro baker. So I was moving across that success path 
success path really fast. And I realized that there was something about me that I could share with other bakers. I was making profit. I was getting paid. Um, you know, I was like selling like nobody's business. And I was like in a small town um, at that point in time. And then I, I, I got known very fast. And um, that was probably just God pushing me to the next point to say that you have something to share with the rest of the world. And um, I thought, okay, this for me is a point of departure. This is where I need to start sharing what I have with other bakers. Because if I can reach this level of success in this uh, amount of time, which is under three years, literally, then I know that somebody else can use the skills that I have to grow their baking business. And I also just felt this unction that in the days to come, like in the few months, weeks, years to come, I just had this unction that more home bakers would come up like, more women would start opening baking businesses and it's call me crazy, whatever. But that was just this unction um, that was coming in me. And then I was like, this is it. I'm going to start helping other home bakery business owners scale, like to like open up their own baking businesses. And that is the birth. That was literally the birth of Esther's Baking Academy. And um, um, that is when I started, you know, teaching other women how to bake, how to decorate their cakes and so forth. And then I was like, wow, I could reach more people. And then the online business just came forth. And um, that is really my idea. That is how I started my baking business. I did not have everything to start with. And I did not stand in my own way to say that I don't have this, I don't have that. But I baked and I shared my recipes with my family, my friends, those that, that were, those that were with me, they gave me the, you know, um, the compliments that I needed, the confidence, the, 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 you know, just that boost that I needed. And um, they also, you know, corrected me like Esther, you could correct this, correct this, you could improve on this, or you could improve on that. And so that is how my business grew. <clears throat> And if you are, you know, um, starting a baking business and you want to start a baking business, I really urge you, if I can do it, then you can definitely do it. I was not the best baker out there. I didn't have all the recipes. I didn't have the best recipes. I didn't have the best baking skills. But you just need to have a desire to start. And you just need to have a faith. Like, you need to have faith to, to you know, start believing yourself Use what you have in your own home uh, baking or in your own uh, home kitchen and um, put something out, put it out for sale and then use the profits that you are getting to push yourself up. Um, if you are interested or if you are thinking about starting home bakery business, I have what I call the um, a startup resources guide um, in my free resources library. I have a startup resource guide for home bakers. It's basically just like a checklist of things that you need to get as a home baker. If you're just starting out, it's a basic set of supplies that you can get so you can start your baking business, right? really um, critical supplies that you need that you cannot most probably work without. So um, I will leave a link to that in the description. But then if you need any help in your baking business, if you need any coaching, mentoring, do reach out to me, do give me a shout out. And I'll be happy to tell you what type of services um, I could provide you with. Other than that, um, I just really wanted to come on here today and share how exactly it is that I started my home bakery business. And it's not rocket science. You can do it. If I can do it, then you can definitely do it. Don't think about the number of bakers that are in your area. Don't think about the competition. Focus on yourself. Watch my other YouTube uh, videos that I have that are going to be super helpful if you have pricing challenges, mindset challenges. There are multiple videos on this channel that you can watch to come, I mean, to overcome those hurdles. So that is it for me for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.